What can write to show? We're going to talk about how to overcome Satan. And that's in this Bible. So hold on. It doesn't fit. So it's in, so it's in this Bible. So hold on. And then God's promises and answers. That's what I got here. So. We're going to read it. I can find it. Let's see, where is that? Here's one. What the Bible has to say about our fountain. Hold on. stand against the wills of the devil, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hearts, uh, wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having gritted your waist with fruit, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and have stood your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith with, the, with, with, with which you will be able to quench all the fear, fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the hell of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplication and spirit, being watchful to the sin with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. It's best in 6.11, slash 18. That's what that means in the Bible. That's how Satan, that's what it talks about in the Bible. It's not easy. Let so, me tell you something, guys. Life is not easy. It's not easy to say or you think. It's not easy to say or you think. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's not compared to what you say, but your mind says. So that the life's easy. Life ain't easy. Life is just a game that you all can say. That is Satan's life. Let me tell you something. You know what this is I got another Bible in here. And you don't want to listen to Satan. Because Satan is bad guy. He's bad. Hold on. He's a bad guy. And we don't want to get his, uh, anything he needs. Because he'll try to get you. 
and try to tell you to do this, do that, do this to your mom, do this to your dad. Just don't do all that. That's going to end up you. You're going to end up in a worse time, and I'm. It's not going to be easy on the Atlantic. All the part of your life that you know. Because if you don't think that life's easy, it ain't easy. Life's all hard. It's trashy and selfish. Am I right? Am I wrong? Come to my life. Hold on. I will come straight in two sixty five. Almost there. Here we go. Right here. How to, how to overcome Satan. How to overcome Satan. Be sober, be vigilant, and vigilant. Because of your adversary, adversary, the devil walks about like a raw lion, seeking one he may devour. Devour. Resist him steadfast. Steadfast. In the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by, yeah, experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God, God of all grace, who called us to eternal glory by Jesus, after ye suffered a white topic established establish strength and, and settle you. First Peter 5, 8, 5, 8, chapter 6. Page five. I don't even know what that means. Who sins in the devil for the devil has sinned from the beginning for this purpose, the Son of God, and this manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. First John three eight. Continue. Now that's what I read. The second part. If you are with devil right now. And you like the devil, that's gonna put you in hell. Just saying. We put you down in. It's not about things to what you need to do. There's different things off and in. It's not like this whole life of me right now is gonna turn easy and then later I'm gonna be turned to a god, I'm turned to some god. I don't care about the same thing. Hold on. Okay. But now, I am back. Start. You think that life and you're going to be with the devil you're for the rest of your life? You're going to be down there. Just saying. Because the way you act, or no, not the way you act, I got that wrong. To me, the way you talk about ghosts. If you're going to say something about the ghost, and it's going to put you with the devil. It's going to just put you with the devil, and it's not going it's not to be as easy as you thought. Going into searching for ghosts can cause more worse time. It's going to make, all the demons are going to make it worse. All the ghost words you're going to say make it worse. And I don't want to say this, but if you're going to search a ghost, and you're going to search one, you're going to be with the devil. Just the same. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. But you know what's going to happen. Hold on. You know what's going to happen, right? You know that things is not easy. There are things we don't know yet. And 
It won't be as easy as you thought it could be. If you want God to forgive you, He'll forgive you. Let's continue reading. Submit to God, resist the devil, and He will flee from you. Hold up, hold up. Now, if you say stop on the devil, or anything that push the devil away, you're on my side forever. If you don't try to get ghosts and say, Oh, there's a ghost in my backyard, oh, there's a ghost in my front room, or oh, there's a ghost in my bathroom. Oh, no, no, that's going to pick you right down there. Because if you talk about ghosts, it might fall. God says in that big bit, Ghosts will follow you if you talk about that. It'll talk about the, the, the ghost is another thing we're talking about. If you go to go to another mansion and search for a ghost, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Because the way the way uh, people are acting nowadays, it's not happening. It ain't going to happen at all. The reason why people will not like each other is arguing, fighting, uh, just going crazy. And God doesn't want that. God don't want that. And I've got gospel videos. I'm put the three on there. Today. This is what I want to read for y'all. Here's the next one. Get, draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your sinners, and purify your hearts, your double minded. You know what that means? Go to church. And then that clean his parts of his. Just clean your hands like that, like that. And he'll draw to you. He will draw it to you. We're going to big book now. The big holy Bible. So let's get to it. I mean, I ain't mean, read this a lot. Uh, we're gonna go to math. They don't want to get to right here. What math? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, Let's see where we stop at. Oh, right here. Then Jesus. Let a woman light up by the Spirit onto the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. Pretty cool. Anyway. But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacles and stuff like that, of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, if it is written. He, get, he shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest your dad dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt, do not tempt the Lord your God again. And the devil took him up exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. He said to him, All these things will give you if you will fail, fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to them, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone you shall serve. 
Then the devil left him and behold the angels came and ministered to him. Now as he was heard that John had been put in prison, he departed to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the, with the regions sorry, to Zebulun and Naphtal. That is mighty fulfilled, which is which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, "The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtal." By the way of the sea beyond the Jordan Valley, the gentle Gentile, the people who sat in the darkness have been in a great light. I have been in, great, in, the, in the darkness, and I have seen the great bright light. I have seen the bright light when I was in my bedroom. I used to be scared of uh, mustard in my bedroom when I was little, but now I am used to it now. I got used to it a lot. I mean, I got used to pretty much everything. And it's not that I don't like people. It's like a lot of my bed, sleeping in my bedroom is just that. Uh, just darkness is what came to me. And it didn't really look like it. Oh, before I, before I start reading right here, we have a chance of snow coming. Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, day after that. Uh, we had snow today. I got to get that recorded. I got it on the side here, and that's the card on the side. It's right here. I'm going to try to put it on YouTube. It's a lot. Hold on. Get back. I will show you. I'm going to show you the breath what the breath looks like. Do the bread, the, to do the bread deal. Got it. Now you want to open your bread like this. Small pieces. My ass right here. Table clean. Like that. And cover up in a square. Just like that. They don't even eat one of them. Like that. Now, we got a price for it. So, about, about whoever's watching us now, about get some money, go ahead and go, if you got bread, and suck some drink, we get some bread. Make it like a square, small square, and do it quick. I'll give you five minutes. What, what, what? Four more left. 